So we created our API or our post, um, but what we noticed is it's associated to a specific user. And that's because our model is going off of the default user, the default first user. So what we wanna do is actually create a new user and then make a method that allows us to associate the creation process to the requested user. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Inside of the Django admin, we're gonna create a new user and I'm just gonna say ABC and I'll use a whatever password. This doesn't really matter that much. And let's go ahead and log out and go into our login function that we created on the site. We'll do ABC and that whatever password. And of course, this is the old blog. We wanna actually go into the API itself. So post slash create. And let's actually make a new post. So new post item, ABC or whatever. And let's actually go ahead and give it a date. We'll hit post. Um, so on the detail view, let's actually take a look at it. Uh, or as let's say the list view, let's actually add the user into the list view so we can see the users. So inside of the serializer itself for the list, we're just gonna add in user here and refresh. And we see that all of them have the user ID of one, even though our logged in user is ABC. That is not what we want to see. So to do this, to make this change, we're going to go into our view in the post create API view, and we're going to do define perform create, and it's going to take self and the serializer, and it's going to return, or it's all we're going to do here is serializer dot save, and user equals to self dot request dot user. So in class-based views, you can use self.request to actually get the request that's related to the view where a function-based view, so some function-based view um, already has the request being passed. So in, in class-based views, you have to use self.request. Um, okay, so this is all you have to do, and this is gonna set the user field from the model, so this right here. So you could do other things in here as well. So let's say, for instance, we wanted to change the title in here. So I'll just say title equals to my title, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna change, we're gonna have the user as well as my title, which means that in our create view, when we go through the create process, it's actually not gonna show it. I'll say ABC, whatever. This is the title that we're putting in and then whatever content, whatever publish date, hit post. And notice it says my title. And if we go back in the post list, we have that new user. Of course, I don't want to override manually the title. I just wanted the user and that is allowing me to do that. So you could do something very, very similar to the update view. Um, and you go into the update API view here. We paste this in. And now instead of perform create, we can do perform update. And you can change the user to whatever updated user it is. Uh, not updated, but update. Um, so that means this post new post item, let's go in here and do edit, and then let's change it. Uh, we wanna change how, actually before we finish this part, let's change how this is rendered. All we see is, well, we don't see anything. So we wanna see the actual details and we also want this to be pre-filled. That's really simple. It's a generic view called retrieve update view. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that and import that. Instead of the retrieve API view, we are gonna be using the retrieve update view for our update API view. Not for the retrieve view, but for the update view itself. So we save that, refresh, and now we actually get that, those, that data pre-filled for us. So now we can just change this to new post, and we hit put. Now if we go back into the list, we got new post and user is in here. Um, so this perform update just changed the user from the original user that submitted it to this new user. Now, if you wanted to track these new users, you could do it in a few ways. Of course, you could send some email here using Django's send email. Um, we did cover that in one of our projects, definitely in try Django 1.8, we cover that. Um, but basically you could send an email here saying so-and-so updated it and not necessarily save it directly to the model. Um, or in the model itself, you could have another user field in here said last updated by and just use that other user, like the original creator and then the editor and so on and so forth. Um, so that's really what you could be doing. So there's, there's definitely a lot of stuff that you could do with this perform update as well as perform create. Now, this is something that these, when it deals with the request itself, which is the user will definitely be on the request itself, this is how you would do it. You can modify the create and update in the serializer itself, but it's not necessarily gonna work for the requested user in this fashion. Such as in here, you could 
change how all of this stuff works, which is not something we're gonna do quite yet. Um, but if you do have any questions on what we did in this video, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.